Hey guys, just wanted to bring you a quick video today to remind you that yes, I am alive. I wanted to replace the handguard on my SIG M400 Tread Predator. You remember the original handguard, although it kind of looked cool, it weighed half a pound, which is completely unacceptable. Um, however, SIG has a proprietary barrel nut on all of their SIG M400s, which means you need a proprietary tool to get it off. And I did not have access to the tool or the workbench, which by the way, super douchey by SIG. They could have just used a mil spec barrel nut. Anyway, I sent off the opera to a buddy and uh, he's, you'll meet him in the Discord. He's a great guy. And he was able to help me get that handguard off and install the Odinworks Rune handguard, which is very lightweight, very cool handguard. Um, I decided to spray paint everything today. I was gonna spray paint my AR, my chest rig, which it's not a great chest rig, but I mean, it's good for uh, purposes that I probably can't go into on the channel, but it's definitely not an outdoorsy chest rig. So definitely need to replace that. I decided to spray paint my rifle and a bunch of magazines just so everything would match. I was going for sort of a woodland uh, greenish color. I was just kind of just uh, freehanding it. As you can see, I threw in my Glock, so Glock slide just to play around with it. But, but yeah, I decided that, hey, it would look a lot better spray painted anyway. Spray painting is also just a good practice in general. It's a good way to make everything on your gun look uniform, which obviously makes it harder to pick out if you're hiding in certain terrains. So I also needed to paint those red M-Lock covers. As you can see, those are from a super old, awful AR build from when I was 18 years old. I decided it'd be cute to like, just make this awful garbage rifle. I'll put a picture up right now. It's just terrible. It was a PSA lower on a Davidson Defense upper with a Hollow Sun clone, not even a Hollow Sun, but a Hollow Sun clone optic from I think NC Star. Uh, just a terrible gun. I think at some point it had a Monstrum LPVO on it, which you can, yeah, it broke when I went to the firing range for the first time with it. It was embarrassing. Terrible, terrible gun. So glad I got rid of it. But I did keep the M-Lock covers. And it's actually kind of nice because this being such a light handguard, the really hot barrel is going to be right there. And the M-Lock covers are not only going to protect me from the heat, but it's also going to help me kind of make sure I'm putting my hand in the same place every time. I think it was in the Magpul uh, training videos. I remember watching those when I was 10. At some point, they bring up how, you know, gunfighting is just doing the same thing over and over again. Shooting a gun, if you want to perfect it, you just have to do the same thing over and over again. So I just want to make sure I get that muscle memory with my rifle. You'll notice I am just using iron sights now. Uh, the Sig Romeo 7, uh, the battery died under fire uh, a few videos ago. So that's just completely unacceptable. So I ditched that as soon as I could. I've been running iron sights ever since. Uh, it's a Midwest Industries front sight and a Troy Industries rear. Um, both are great. I've sighted it in. It's, it works good enough for iron sights. Definitely need, needs to be replaced with a better optic. But I've decided that my next optic, it's not going to be Hollow Sun. It's not going to be SIG, probably. Uh, don't hold me to that, guys. But I want to make sure I invest some good money into some serious glass so that I don't have to keep buying garbage, cheap optics like the Hollow Sun Magnifier, the Romeo 7. I just want to make sure I buy something good. So obviously, I'm painting uh, both sides of the weapon. And uh, yeah, this was really fun doing this. I was able to, you know, kind of make everything look uniform. I was able to spray paint the chest rig. I mean, honestly, the paint was so dark that it still kind of just looks black. But, but yeah, uh, the the twenty round mags I've really grown to love. They just look so good. They just look so clean. They really just match the aesthetic that I'm kind of going for, which is, you know, not necessarily like you know, Second Amendment defender, <laughs> militia guy, which there's nothing wrong with people who do that. Don't get me wrong, but there's plenty of those guys on YouTube. I want to kind of encourage people to get outside. I want people to explore the world uh, with their AR-15, obviously, because listen, if you run into some kind of threat in the wilderness, an AR-15 is going to help you solve that problem, right? It's going to help you no problem. So yeah, decide to hit it all with the coat of green. It doesn't really matter. You can be super sloppy with your paint. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I repainted this rifle anyway, and I'll show you that paint job at the end of the video. But this is kind of just to get an idea of what I was doing. This isn't my first time spray painting an AR-15. My AR-15 I owned before this, I actually spray painted a tan, and I regret getting rid of that gun. That was a pretty good gun. It was an arrow lower on a Davidson Defense Upper. Not Daniel, Davidson Defense Upper. If you've ever been to DavidsonDefense.com, they've just got the cheapest build kits, but... 
Anyway, I thought this turned out pretty good. It's all, it's got that Odin Works muzzle brake on it, so I can use their uh, suppressors eventually. We're not there yet, but I'll be able to quick detach. The original paint job was good. I just thought it was a little dark, um, so I do end up repainting it later, but I was able to film this all on a family member's property. So the original paint job looked okay, though. It wasn't bad. The Glock, it didn't turn out great. Um, I've been concealed carrying my Glock, obviously, every day since I've painted this, and most of the paint's worn off anyway, so, uh, you know, didn't really didn't really matter in the end. I also spray-painted the sides like a moron, so I need, to, <laughs> I need to replace those. I thought the chest rig turned out okay. Uh, everything looks a lot better now that it's spray-painted. Obviously, I didn't spray-paint the, spray the tourniquet <laughs> or, or the radio, but... But yeah, overall, uh, it's fun. I highly recommend you guys go paint your guns. It's a great way to add some personality to your gun without, you know, while also making it practical, right? Because spray paint's a very practical thing, so. And uh, as you can see here, here's the final paint job. I like this one a lot better, and I plan on keeping it like this. It's got a brown stock. I decided to paint the stock completely brown. I just thought, I don't know, it kind of looks good, so. Uh, coming up soon, guys, I'll be uh, actually out in the wilderness again. So until then, I'll uh, catch you next time.